morning guys, back in Cornwall. Um, so gonna do, go and do a bit of mushroom planting today, I think. There's a, there's a big like woods with pine forests and, and bits like that I've never been to before. So I think that's where we're gonna head today. Um, first I need to do a shop because I've been lazy. Got here yesterday, didn't buy anything. So let's go and do that. And then, yeah, I'm going to the woods to explore. I'm at a shop, come to Morrison's because it's sort of, well, it's the biggest, it's the biggest store in Newquay, I think. Um, and it's the easiest to get to because it's on the outskirts, which is near where I'm staying. So I'm at Morrison's, I'm gonna do a shop. I'm probably not gonna shop for the entire week yet. Um, I'll just do some bits for today, maybe tomorrow, and then um, I'll probably shop for meals later in the week, later in the week, because I find cooking so boring. So but I can't plan ahead like that. I need to just, on the day, go, I fancy this, buy it, cook it done dusted but I'll do a shop head back to the cabin sort it out and then uh, yeah we'll get moving from there right so shopping's done let's go for a little haul I've got 24 Pepsi Cherry Max because, well, you have to. And then, if you, oh, you don't know me, but if you knew me, you'd know. I don't enjoy cooking. Cooking be boring. I don't want to spend two hours making a meal that's going to take me 30 seconds to eat. So, I like easy foods. Easy foods. Oh, the bag's going to fall over. So, let me show you what we got. So, we've got spinach and colour rana pasta. I've had a couple of these before. They do a really good carbonara. I also got... Tagliatelle bolognese, and then crispy leaf salad to go with it, along with because cheap and cheerful. Morrison savers garlic bread. I did. I bought the Pepsi's after buying this, but I thought why not get some goodness in me somehow. Got some dressing for the salad. Looks. I mean, it looks terrible when you do it like that, but I imagine it looks all right when it's shaking it. Yeah, there you go, look at that. Lots of coffee because, well, I drink lots of coffee. They're not the best coffees in the world, but they're easy, and then I can put them in my cups. I may have also got some packs of camera nibbles and pot noodles too, but that's, that's it. So this is going to be dinner for the next two nights, and then snacks and stuff so boom now we are going to go out so i'm going to make a coffee just to take with me quickly um and then yeah we'll uh, get going So initial impressions, this place is really, really busy. Um, lots and lots of people in the car park, um, but it looks like it's a really well laid out place. I mean, you've got the cafe down here, and they've even got a dog wash. Like, I'm not joking, big machine, shower, everything for your dog. So I can't say that's something I've seen before, which is really, really nice. But we're walking in amongst all these lovely pines and so on. I did check, the bin's on route as well, so I've got my coffee in my hand. Um, I'm going to try and do, there's a few different routes, but I'm basically going to try and do a route that sort of joins them all together um, over both sides. I've got, got all day, so might as well make the most of it. Once I've had my coffee, I'll get my camera out and take some pictures too, but I just love, love the way these trees tower above you. Awesome. So the theme I'm going for today is nature. So I want little things, I'm looking for little mushrooms and bits like that, which I don't know if you can see on the GoPro, but there are some here. So I've got a big boy lens out. So it's the R5 as always. And then I've got the Canon 100-400 Mark II with it as well. Um, don't have the teleconverter anymore. Got rid of the teleconverter, but may pick up another one another time. So I'm going to start with these, wander around, get some pictures of mushrooms and all things sort of small, anything birds or shrews, if I find any things like that. So I'll... Um, 
be shooting various bits and then I might at some point swap the lenses back just to get some pictures of these awesome towering trees too. I can't go over them, can't go over them so yeah we'll um we'll have a good little wonder. there's lots to see, lots to see. Just come off the beaten track now, so left the main paths down down there to your right. There is another path going up there, but we're going up this one here. And this takes us up to the engine house. I have just found this very cool hole underneath this tree, but I can't um, I can't see anything hiding inside it, which is a bit of a shame. It's been cool. cool. There's no sort of mushrooms surrounding the bottom. But it's very, very wet, sort of mossy ground, so should be on to the winner. Just gotta find the right spot. This place is just huge. It like never stops, but everywhere you go, you've got different paths all going off in different directions, and it's massive. So I don't know how much we're going to see today. Um, I'm still following that same path. It just seems to be going on forever. So I don't actually know how big this place really is when you look at it from a realistic perspective, but we, uh, yeah, we'll see how far we can get. We're getting to a really dark bit now. Look at this. Really, really dense, which is very cool. I'm also surprised I haven't seen any deer yet. Normally see deer in woods when it's this quiet, but I don't know what the deer population is like in Cornwall, so who knows? Maybe we shall see some, and that'll answer my question. So, I think I found the engine house. I don't know if there's another one. The, uh, the walk was to continue, but I'm not sure if this is the only one but it's just a bit here behind me. Just trying to give you a good view. So you've got the chimney, everything's covered in ivy. I mean, it looks amazing, but I can see there's a fence around the bottom of it. Just want to see if I can find a way to get down to it. Right, I've just come across that engine house. I am now just trying to find an alternative route down to it because there, uh, where it actually is, is very, very steep. So just trying to get over all of this. But once again, I have you in my hand, I have a camera in my hand. It's all a little bit tricky. Oh. So bear with me. All of the wood is rot too. So the minute you stand on it, it all just falls apart. But what I'm aiming to do is I just want to get down to that bit at the bottom where it's flat by the river and I can walk along to it. So. I'll catch up with you when I get down. Right, I'm not down yet. I just want to show you something really, really quickly. Um, there's a cool mushroom here, which unfortunately it's burst open already, so I've missed it, but look at this little guy. Doesn't really do it uh, any favors on this, um, but it's bright, bright yellow. So I'll take a picture of it and uh, show you that instead. I'm now walking through all of the mulch and you'll see what I mean. It is uh, all very, very just sort of wet, rotten, Floor. Um, but just coming up to it now so I can give you a view there is the engine house here and it's all like caked in moss and it looks really good it looks like the uh, the shaft might be uncapped too so oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to give you a view down it necessarily but looks to me like it's uncapped See if we can get a better angle anywhere and then uh, try and take some pictures too. I'm just going to try and bring you around this side and see. I don't think the uh, image is going to be any better from... Oh, there's actually a route down to it as well. That would have been so much easier. No, there's definitely no way I'm going to be able to show you it. It's um, all the way down there. So, I don't know if you can see anything that I can't already see. 
Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put my camera down for a second. Oh. There are loads and loads of really cool mushrooms. So you've got these, I don't know what their names are. I'll try and find out for us and get them uh, up on the page. You've got these sort of flat things here. There's also a very small amount of quartz that someone's laid on top. And then down here we've got another load again. I've got no idea what these are, so don't um, don't expect me to read them out before I uh, have a look later. Just walk around and see if there's anything else. There's more of these sort of flat, frilly ones. Two more of those in there. What else have we got? If you can see these little ones up on top. Might, that might be it. There are a few more hiding away. Yeah, let's grab some pictures and uh, move on. We will double that bit. Have just a little look. That is that is the place I was trying to get to. So the path loops back down now and takes me onto one of the other routes. Um, so I could go forward, but it's actually going to take me down this way back into uh, all the pine forest instead. So hopefully get some really nice views over the pine forest at some point. And I can take some pictures. Swap back to little lens. I haven't been finding much in the way of mushrooms and so on. So I'm going to keep this out for sort of general views and bits instead. Um, I can always swap back if need be. Um, I just won't be able to get anything like deer or birds with this if, if they appear. At the moment I've seen nothing anyway. So the only thing I would say is a shame is um, that obviously had some sort of open shaft and um, oh, I couldn't look down it. So one thing I do want to add to my arsenal um, next year or maybe later this year we'll see is a drone. So I'm looking at something like a, a DJI Mini 4. Um, had a look at it because it sits just under the 250 grams you can bring it out to places like this and fly it so that'll make a um, that'll make a massive difference when we're at places like this where I'll be able to get up above it and fly around and have a little look so keep watching and that will come all right I'm on the next trail now and um, I'll be honest I can't remember where this one goes. I think it just goes to a picnic area, but it's gonna take me, I believe, up and around the top of all of this pine forest here. So we'll keep going. Um, there is a really, really nice stream, but not like any sort of nice picturesque spots to take pictures of it just yet. So keep our eyes peeled. Um, and then, yeah, I will catch up with you if we find anything interesting on this path, or if not, when we join the next one. gonna say it again because I just feel like I need to make it really really clear but these trees man I'm in my element I am in my element and it's lovely because it's mixed in with it's mixed in with all these autumnal colors so you've got all these gorgeous oranges seeping through all the greens and like out the background there you've got rolling hills and just really nice big wide path like it's easy walking we love to get off the beaten track but at the same time, sometimes it's nice just to not have to scramble through a shoddy little path. It's nice to just walk somewhere like this. But honestly, it don't even it just really don't even feel like England at this point. I could be I could be wandering through a Canadian national park and alright, maybe I would know the difference, but beautiful. Beautiful. Coming around to the top now, I think. It's just Lovely pine forest all around. Our path goes left. I'll definitely come back one day and explore all these off little tracks that go everywhere. But today I want to get a lay of the land. So I want to try and do all the paths and 
Um, I mean, <laughs> I maybe walk a little bit too slow because I'm looking to take pictures and, and so on. Put me out in public, put me shopping, put me in a supermarket and I'm walking at like 50 miles per hour. But put me out in a forest or a nature reserve and uh, I'll barely move because I just see things all the time. Look at that. How cool is that? No idea what it is. Looks wicked though. I've just found something pretty cool. I think it's obligatory that we we cross it. So there's a little stone bridge. We're gonna go have a little look. Feature. and then this is the other side of it so that's where else goes that waterway on the other side runs through to but yeah it must all channel back into this river really at some point yeah very cool the end now we're uh, just making our way back down the opposite path to the car park uh, really surprised I saw loads of cars at the entrance but hardly seen anyone on the actual walk I think they must all do this sort of short walk they come down here and they either come across this path that's literally just there or the one a bit further up where we just saw that um, like slab bridge but I don't think many people actually continue the walk all the way up into the woods and so on I think it's a lot of local dog walkers and and bits like that so yeah it's a nice place i'll definitely come back for sure spend a little bit more time walking around off the beaten track and so on um, but yeah i think that's going to be us done for the day unless i spot anything surprising on this last little bit haven't really seen much in the way of birds or i haven't seen any deer or anything like that to be odd um, as i say back home in the south sounds we get loads but yeah gonna make my way back to the car go home or go back to the uh the caravan, pop some dinner on and chill out.